So here's our example. I've got a table called t. It's got two columns, x and y. It's partitioned into four partitions, the values being based on x, 1, 2, 3, and 4, for the four partitions respectively. I'm going to insert 16 million rows into that table, such that we get 4 million rows into each partition, and the values of y range from 1 all the way up to 16 million. So we know in advance that the highest value in that table for y is 16 million. But what we're going to do is, we're going to query that table and try to find out the maximum value of y. While we're doing that, we're going to exchange one of the partitions with this table here, tx. It's got no rows in it, so in effect, we're going to instantaneously wipe out 4 million rows from that table while the query is running. So this is the command we're going to be running. Alter table t exchange partition p4 with tx, the empty table. Because we're removing p4, we know that we're taking effectively the values of y from 12 million up to 16 million away. So let's see what happens. I'll get my query ready to run, and I'll get my exchange partition ready to run as well. So here we go. Bang, bang. The partition has been exchanged, yet my query is still running. It didn't crash. That's pretty impressive, because if I rerun my query, you can see it now picks up the right definition. So even though we altered the dictionary definition of our table whilst our query was running, Oracle was smart enough to still run our query in the normal read consistent fashion. That's pretty cool.